Welcome back everybody to another Cold Games video. Today we are doing RPG Maker Tutorials Remastered. Today we're going to teach you how to make maps. So to start a new project you obviously got to hit this. You can name the project, name the actual game. But yeah. So to start a new map you want to go to... You want to go... And you want to right click their title and then hit new or return. And then it pulls up map properties. And you can name the map like world, the world. So yeah, the name is what it will show down here. The display name is what it will be if you play the game and it'll say up in the corner what map you're on. And there's the tile sets. Now the tile sets are important because you either have an overworld, which is an outside, like a world map. There's an outside, which means like outside in like a forest or a village. Inside, which are inside of house, dungeons, which are like caves, dungeons, yada yada, yada castles, basements, stuff like that. Then SF, which stands for science fiction, science fiction or sci fi. Outside, so like more of a modern day slash space outside. Same thing for the inside, but space and stuff. But today we're just going to stick with overworld. Now the width and height, or the width and height, determine how big the thing is. I'm keeping, I'm probably gonna do 20, 20, by 20. Now scroll type, I wouldn't mess with that. I can do a tutorial on that some other time. Don't want to mess with the encounter steps yet. <laughs> then there's background music, background sound, and battle back. Now, battle back I'm not going to mess with today. Neither will I mess with background music and background sounds. <laughs> then there's disable dashing, so if you don't want them to run around, you can turn that on. And then there's parallax background, which is like the background if you don't have anything there. So I'm not going to mess with that today. Then there's these, don't mess with. They're kind of like the loop. Show in the editor. That's this. Then there's notes, which you can just write down notes. Like eat pie every day. Then there's this encounters, which I'm not gonna mess with, and we're in. So as you can see, there's this. Now you wanna. Now there's different tools you can use. There's the pencil tool, which allows you to create shapes. You know, fill it in by hand. Blah 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 blah. Then there's the rectangle tool, I think. That's yeah, a rectangle tool, which allows you to create a rectangle or square by um just by just dragging your mouse or doing yeah just dragging your mouse really then there's the oval tool circle tool ellipse tool okay which allows you to create an ellipse type shape and there is the fill tool which allows you to fill in blank areas and there's sh 
shadow pen, which makes shadows. So we go make a shadow over here. So yeah, you can use those whenever you want to mess with tile sets. So tile set A for overworld is like if you want to add mountains. <laughs> Oceans, even. Yeah, you can also like make this stuff rocks so they can't leave poisonous bogs even. I don't know why you would need that. Waterfalls. Those are good for parallax backgrounds. Then like pits into despair of death. Pathways even. Just like a pathway. So yeah, paths. And then you can make like snow up here. And then you can add like a desert, kind of. So yeah, and then you can do that, like add some snow mountains. Maybe add some like desert hills. Maybe add like dunes, cliffs, mountains, pokey rocks, ruins. Then if you go to B, you, the B tile set, you can see tons of buildings and houses to decorate. So like you can make a giant one of these. Just like smack dab right here. Town. Like a town up here. Then you make a snowy tree. Then you can even add a volcano if you wanted. And add the lava onto it. Like a tower. Maybe add like a castle. It's all up to you. Like you can make an ocean castle. So yeah, that's that, and then C is like, it kind of has a sci-fi feel, it's more of modern day. Like you can make a pole in the middle of the road for no reason. Maybe make it to where like the forest is blocked off because there's a hole, and then you can repair it out. Or like the crater because a meteor hit or something or on the moon I 
and you can make little statues, you know, lighthouse. And then R, we're not gonna mess with today. But yeah, and then also to play your game so far. Well, first to save it, you click this icon. It kind of looks like a floppy disk. And then you save it. That it was. Well, I didn't know. Let me finish this. And then play test. This is this button. It looks like the YouTube subscribe button, which you should hit subscribe to me and then I would say that screen do, 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 do. yeah you hit new game and boom you and your party members can explore So yeah, you can just explore, and uh, this is the end of this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and RPG Maker videos. Please uh, ring that notification bell, subscribe, like the video, and yeah, have a nice day. Bye. You know what? I'm tired of saying bye forever.